What is up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and welcome back to System Universe, Book 2 Torrent by Sunrise CB. Chapter 34, Heart to Heart. Thomas and Derek made their way back to the city. Derek needed to think about his plan of action for the upcoming days. He hadn't planned on meeting the city lord, but after today's activity, he couldn't ignore him anymore. Well, he could, but he no longer wanted to. Derek hated to take Sylvie away from her cooking lessons. She was having such a good time and learning so much. According to Stella, the bunny was making outstanding progress, but their time in Torrent was almost up. Maybe he could talk with Alana and get Sylvia's spot in the Savannah Crown. It may be tougher of a sell because of the differences in city size, but he was sure Alana would at least consider it. He also had to pick up Brandy and Mallory before heading off to the nearest city with a teleport circle. Either the girl would be super excited at the prospect of going to a big city, or she'd be sad that she would have to spend time away from crafting. Derek wasn't sure of which. The pair arrived at the city just before dark. They split up at the commoner district and went to their prospective inns. Derek made sure to stress that Thomas needed to be vigilant, just in case. He was sure that the city lord wouldn't do anything, but it never hurt to be cautious, especially because he didn't know how Clay would react. When Derek got back to his room, he decided to let Sylvie know about his plans. You busy, he asked. No, just watching, her reply came through instantly. Good, I wanted to let you know we're only going to stay here for another week or two at the most. No, she chimed in. I need to cook more, so much to learn. I know, but we can't stay here much longer. We've got a soon-to-be-angry-if-he-isn't-already-city-lord, and I have things I need to do in a big city. I'll talk to Alana and see if we can set something up for you once we get to Savannah, he explained. There was a long pause after that. Okay, her resigned reply came through. Hey, we'll be traveling for a while because we'll have to take the others with us, so I'm looking forward to seeing some of your cooking skills on the road, he tried to cheer her up. It worked. I'll show you. It'll be so tasty. Hmm. I'll make sure to buy a bunch of different ingredients before we leave. Good night. I'll talk to you sometime later. Sylvie didn't reply. Her communication skills were much better after spending so much time with the cooks, but he still wasn't good at but she still wasn't good at ending a conversation. Derek smiled and lay back on his bed. He decided that he might as well sleep for the night. Derek wanted to wait a couple days before visiting the city lord. The next day, he went to the Adventurer's Guild with Thomas for some sparring. Though that, through that, he was able to see the boys' progression better than when he was fighting with the horned boars. All the boars attacked the same, so Thomas had gotten comfortable and used their attack patterns. He didn't have to show any more skill. That was also what led him to being able to escape the final boar's attack without Derek having to intervene. After the sparring session, Derek was even more impressed. The boy fought like the spear was an extension of his own body. He may even have had much more of the talent for using the spear than Claire had using her fist and knuckles. Derek came to the conclusion that the boy would do well at the academy, especially after experiencing the harsh reality of being manipulated. But first, he needed to discuss it with Thomas. Currently, the two were sitting with their backs against a wall in the training room. Derek could see the appeal of the training rooms. The room was soundproof, and the staff was forbidden from entering without warning. This was done with a one-way crystal that glowed blue when the staff needed to enter or talk, and glowed red when sounding an alarm when time was up in the room. Thomas was still out of breath after the sparring, he had poured some water over his head and was currently taking a sip. Derek, however, looked completely normal. It didn't seem like he'd been fighting at all. So, Derek suddenly spoke, getting Thomas's attention. Have you ever heard of the Kingdom's Academy? he asked. Thomas, still breathing hard, nodded his head. Only a little. What do you know about it? Derek asked. Just that some men and women of the Kingdom go there to train, and that when they graduate they become some of the Kingdom's elites, Thomas replied. Have you ever heard about the requirements to get in? Thomas shook his head. No. I see, Derek nodded. Would you want to go for it if you could get admission? Thomas paused, staring at Derek with a frown, then chuckled. I doubt I could ever pass whatever tests are required for admission. 
But would you want to go if you could? Derek asked again. Thomas went silent. Do you think I could pass? Derek smiled. Easily, from what I've gathered, all you would need to do was have a rare class and be at level 50 before you turn 16. You may have thought that level 50 was a pipe dream a few months ago, but what do you think now? Thomas opened his eyes wide. That, if I could find a group, I could run level 40 or 50 dungeons. It would be easy to hit level 50 before 16. Derek nodded. Exactly. Or I could even take you to a level 101 and get you there in one swoop. But it would be better for you to ex for you experience-wise not to rely on me for the level gains. I still think you would be admitted to the academy before you turn 14 either way. It may be better to get in when you're young, too. Of course, Derek continued. We could also go out and find some areas with monsters, like you were yesterday, and you could gain experience while I watched over you and made sure you stayed relatively safe. Relatively safe, Thomas shuddered, just like when I was in the insect dungeon. Exactly, Derek said, knowing the boy was thinking about the injuries he'd received in the dungeon. The only bad part about that would be you missing some opportunities at the dungeon rewards, though that would only be if we could find dungeons at that level that would give good rewards. Thomas nodded. I think the third option would be the best. Derek was surprised. He thought Thomas would do anything to avoid the possibility of getting injured like he had before. Why do you say that, he asked. Thomas let out a breath. Because I think that's the best way for me to improve. It's the only way where I have to rely on myself, even if you're there to keep me alive. I still know the pain I'll experience if I make a mistake will be real, he sighed. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to rely on anyone other than myself or you for the time being. Derek felt for the boy. After experiencing what he did, Thomas would be extremely hesitant and very cautious around others for some time. Derek had never had that problem before, as he preferred fighting alone to begin with. It could be lonely, but Derek still thought it was the best option for improving growth. I see, Derek said. I'll ask around and find a suitable area once we get to Savannah. There are some good dungeons around there, at least from what I've heard so far. You can tag along while I clear them, or we can double up for the rewards, Derek said. Thomas just nodded. So what do you think about joining the Academy? he asked again. I think I'd give it a try, Thomas answered. I never thought I could be considered one of the kingdom's elites. If nothing else, it would make my grandparents proud and help me give them or any children I may have, a better life in the future. Derek smiled, surprised at the boy's thinking and attitude. I think so too, he said. We'll discuss it with your grandparents when we go to the village to pick up the girl. When you enter the academy, I will no longer be able to protect you, but I think your recent experiences will definitely help you protect yourself. Thomas winced at the phrase. That they will, he said. Derek stood, brushing off his back and pants in the process. Get up, it's time for round two. And that's the end of chapter 34. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have fun, guys.